Hey guys, if you're planning on towing a trailer with your Nissan Sentra, you're going to need some trailer wiring done. It's required by law. Let's break down the installation process. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. The trailer wiring for the Nissan Sentra plugs into the taillights. To gain access to the taillights, we have to start by removing the flooring. Next, we'll be removing the rear threshold held in by two push pins located here and here. To remove those, we'll just take a trim panel tool and pop them out. To remove the threshold, we'll start on one corner and push up, and take the other corner and push forward. Next, we'll remove the side paneling by pushing out this push pin and lifting up on this push pin right here. And we'll be repeating the same steps on the passenger side. Back on the driver's side, our tail light harness is located here. We'll remove it by pushing down on this pin and pulling out. Next, we're going to take our yellow and brown T connector and plug it in to our driver's side wiring harness. Now we're going to take our white wire with our ring terminal and ground it under the wiring harness using our self-tapping screw. So now on the passenger side, we're going to unplug our taillight wiring harness. Taking our red and green T connector, we're just going to plug it in to the passenger side wiring harness. Using our U-Haul exclusive black power wire, we're going to connect it to the red wire on the black converter box. To do so, we will use a heat shrink butt connector. Now we're going to take our black power wire and thread it underneath the passenger side of the vehicle to the battery in the engine compartment. So we'll do so by fishing the black power wire through the vent on the rear passenger side. Now let's talk about storing the four flat wiring harness. You have two options. The first is to store it in the cargo area or the trunk and bring the harness out and place it on the weather seal when you're ready to tow. Your second option is to mount the four flat next to the hitch receiver. In order to do so, we'll bring the four flat through the grommet located in the rear of the vehicle. Let's show you. So our next step is to pull out this grommet. Here, and put the four flat in that hole. Next, we're just going to cut a slit in the grommet to make room for the four flat wire. And we're now just going to seal the slit with some black silicone. We're done with the cargo area, so now we're just going to clean up our wires by zip tying them. So now we're underneath the vehicle. We're going to take our black power wire and thread it over the carbon canister along the brake lines to the engine compartment in the front. So now we're just going to follow this black tube along here and zip tie our power wire to it. So now we're going to thread the wire past the fuel tank to loop back to the brake wires right here. And again, we're just zip tying our power wire to our brake lines. 
So now we're just going to continue pushing our black power wire up along the brake lines and up towards the engine compartment. The black power wire comes out here in the engine compartment. In order to loop it to the battery, we're going to loop above this wire right here, along the top, behind this wiring harness to the battery. And we're going to zip tie the power cord to the wiring harness. Now we're going to connect our fuse holder to our power cord. Now we're going to remove our nut on the positive post using a 12 millimeter socket. Now we're just going to take our ring terminal on the red wire and attach it to our positive post and tightening the bolt back down. Now we're just going to attach our provided 10 amp fuse to the fuse holder. In order to clean up our wires, we're just going to attach the black and red wire to this harness right here. Back on the rear of the vehicle, we don't want to have any wires hanging too low. So what I suggest is mounting the four flat connector to the bumper using a mounting bracket. This mounting bracket isn't included with the kit, but you can pick it up at any U-Haul store or on uhaul.com. So first we'll go ahead and drill a hole on the right side and put our bolt in and tighten the nut. And then we'll repeat those steps on the other side. Now I'm just gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to tighten it up. Now we're just gonna go ahead and bring our wiring into the bracket. And if you have any remaining wire, just tuck it in behind the bumper. Hey guys, the wiring is installed. You're now ready to tow a trailer. Have fun and be safe. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.